What's up everybody? My name is Matthew Gonzali and welcome to a show that I like to call Reasons to Live. In essence, it's a show dedicated specifically to all of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts, just like I once did to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, dicillion, infinite reasons why you should choose life. Now the topic of today's episode is getting the star or make or produce, basically getting to make your own show. Now maybe that's not in your dreams, for some of you it might be, but here's the thing, you never know if you'll be able to make your own show, do something in the entertainment business that you've always been wanting to do, doing anything you've always been wanting to do, if you die right now. If you die right now, possibilities are done, that's it. But if you choose to live, the possibilities are endless. Now I'm not saying it'll happen overnight, but you can achieve your dreams. For me, one of the things I've always wanted to do is make my own show. Now. I'm not on a network, but I'm doing a podcast and a YouTube show in a couple of months about history. Kind of a Steve Irwin style, but anyway. It's something I've always wanted to do. And if I had died at my suicide attempt, I would never have gotten to achieve it or make the show. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but I'm having fun. And I know it's going to pay off eventually. Plus, getting to achieve my dream. And it can be the exact same for you. What do you guys dream about, honestly? Career accomplishments, things to do in your lifetime. Now, maybe you have different goals than me. Hell, maybe some of you want to be a teacher or something along those lines. If you die right now, you'll never get to be that teacher, that dentist, that goat herder, that truck driver, whatever you want to do with your time. It's okay if we all have different goals, by the way, as long as they bring you joy. All right, before you get going, I would like to have a quick little 1v1 with you, if that's all right. Now, down in the link in the description below, I put five mental health resources that I think you can use, the numbers to them. On top of that, I also put their respective web pages. Now, these resources are the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, Crisis Text Line, Trevor Project, the Trans Lifeline, and the National Sexual Assault Hotline. Hopefully, you can check out their web pages to see what they're about beforehand if some of you are nervous about reaching out and calling. And I get it. Reaching out, it's not something you can just type the number and do. It's not that simple. It can be a very scary thing when you don't know what's going to happen when you do it. So I advise you to do your research. Check out their FAQ pages, see what they're about, see what happens when you call. And speaking of that, I want you to do me a favor when you're done watching this, okay? Please click on the first link in the description below. That'll take you to an article by BuzzFeed News to explain in detail what happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or text the crisis text line does a great job of just scraping away those stupid stigmas that have come to prevent a lot of us from reaching out for help. Now, like I said, I know it's a scary thing. When I was struggling with suicidal thoughts, it was one of the scariest things in the world for me to reach out to someone and talk about it, but I did. I made the right choice in the end, and I got better. And I know you can too. You're a lot stronger than you realize, my friend. All right. Have a good day, everyone. My name is Matthew Gonzali. Remember, there's always a reason to smile.